Welcome to 6.4. Uh, the topic of today's lesson is the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line. Okay, um, y equals mx plus b is what we call the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line. Um, this Okay. So you'll, uh, you'll get pretty familiar with this equation. Um, it allows us to do a couple of things. So some of the things we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn to use this equation to draw a line and we're also going to learn to, given, an, given a line, write its equation. So that's some of the things we're going to learn in today's lesson. And let's get started. Okay. Um, so the slope-intercept equation of a linear function. The equation of a linear function can be written in the form y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, uh, where m is the slope of the line and b represents the y-intercept. So we'll just mark these points on this diagram. Um, so the slope, pardon me, the y-intercept is the point where the, the line crosses the y-axis. So that's our y-intercept. And in the equation, it's represented by the letter b. Okay. The slope, um, as we move to the right, the slope of this line could be calculated like so. Um, so slope, which is rise over run, okay, and m is equal to the slope. Okay, so those are the two letters that are used in the equation. So let's look at our first example. Example one is uh, writing a, a, the equation of a linear function given its slope and y-intercept. So a graph of a linear function has a slope equal to negative 7 over 3 and a y-intercept of 5. Write an equation for this function. So in our solution, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. Okay. And we're going to substitute m is equal to negative 7 thirds, that's our slope, and b is equal to 5. And so the equation that would describe this graph would be y is equal to negative, <coughs> excuse me, 7 thirds x plus 5. All right. Um, so here's a practice example for you to try. So pause the video for a moment, and when you come back, I'll uh, write down the equation for you. Okay. So practice question one, we're given uh, that we have a linear function that has a slope of 3 eighths and a y-intercept of negative 3. So if we were to write an equation for this function, we would start out with the general form, y equals mx plus b. And then we would make it specific to this particular line by substituting m is equal to 3 eighths, so we'll put 3 eighths in for m, and y-intercept which is b, is equal to negative 3. So we're going to put 3 eighths in for m, x plus negative 3. Now, usually what people will do is they will rewrite that plus negative at, with using a subtraction sign. So we would write it this way. Okay. So that, would, that should be your answer. Either one of these would be marked correct on a test. This is, a more, this is the more standard way that you would see it written in a textbook. Okay, um, go on to the next page. Okay. So example two, Graphing a linear function given its equation in slope-intercept form. 
graph the linear function with the equation y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So we're going to uh, use the information contained in the equation to help us write, write or pardon me, draw a line. So our, to start our solution, the first thing we're going to do is compare y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2 with y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, and when we make that comparison, what we see is that the m is equal to negative 2 thirds and the b is 2. Okay, so what that information gives us is this. Um, the slope of the graph is represented by m. So the slope of the graph is m and it's equal to negative 2 thirds. The y-intercept is b and it's equal to 2. Um, the coordinates of the y-intercept are going to be two, 0 and 2. Okay, So from that we now have enough information to graph this line. We're going to start by putting plotting the y-intercept. So we're going to put a point on the y-axis at 2. Okay, And then from that point we're going to use our slope to um, get the next point. So you know that a slope is this number here is your rise and this number here is your run. So from the point 0, 2 we're going to drop down two units because we have a negative slope so that tells us we drop down two units and then we're going to go to the right three units. So we're going to go three units this way and we're going to put a point there and then simply we draw a line between those two points as straight as you can and Oops. What you do also is don't forget to put arrows on the end of your line, okay, and to indicate that that line continues on forever. Um, so, yep, and then the last step usually is to just identify what that line represents. So it represents the function y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So we label the line with its equation. Okay, so we just finish off the note here on the left hand side. On a grid, plot a point at 0, 2. The slope of the line is m is equal to negative 2 thirds. So from 0, 2, move 2 units down and 3 units to the right, mark a point, and then draw a line through the points. Okay, so here's a practice one for. Uh, you to do. Um, so pause the video for a couple minutes um, and do your best to draw the graph of practice 2. Draw the graph of y is equal to 1 half x minus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by comparing the graph y is equal to the equation y is equal to 1 half x minus 3 with y is equal to mx plus b. And when we do that comparison, what we find is that the m is equal to 1 half and the b is equal to negative 3. So what that tells us is that our y-intercept is represented by the letter b, so our y-intercept is going to occur at negative 3 and our slope is going to be equal to 1 half. So we start off by uh, placing the y-intercept on the y-axis at negative 3. So we'll put a point at negative 3. Um, then we're going to go and use our slope. Our slope, we remember that the top number represents the rise, so, and the bottom number represents the run. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the point uh, negative 3, and we're going to come up one unit and we're going to go across two units. So this is my rise of one and my run of two. And I'm going to place a point there. And then the last step for drawing the line would just be to connect those two points. 
with a straight line and do that. Um, and then we label the line with its equation. So we'll say this line represents the equation y is equal to 1 half x minus 3. That's that line. And uh, that, that's, what, that's all there is to it, okay? 